technically there are a number of dealer installed accessories too, including your typical fare of mudguards, rear spoiler, cargo organizers, and such. However, none of them are really necessary, with one exception. For some odd reason, the Yari Zia does not come with a center armrest. It's a $195 accessory, and frankly it should be a standard feature because it's so useful. If you hadn't guessed, ours wasn't equipped with it. Everywhere else the IA is a thoroughly pleasant car, if not as sporty as the old Mazda 2. The little 1.5 liter 4 cylinder under the hood isn't particularly potent with 106 horsepower and 103 pounds to foot of torque. But with a Miata like 2385 pound curb weight and our car's manual transmission, it manages to feel fairly sprightly, and never has any trouble dicing it up with traffic. That transmission is as pretty decent, too. It isn't quite as short and sweet as that of the Mazda badged predecessor, but it still glides into gear with little effort, and the gates are clearly defined and fairly tight. Where the Yaris Zia mostly differs from the previous generation Mazda 2 is in ride and handling. While the IA's small size and quick steering give the car a light and generally willing feel, the suspension is much softer, and the car leans considerably when pushed hard in corners. 